Oh guys, guys, it's early in the morning and I just noticed something really, really bad. I need to look. The crow is dead. just noticed something really really bad i need to look the crow is dead oh. yeah Ooh. let's take him out quickly that sucks. so that nothing can get temp contaminated Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, be careful. I know. Give it to me. This is life in Portugal. So sad. Now we have to bury him. Oh. So this little guy here has not opened up his mouth for me. So after day five, I still have to feed him and force him. Oh, usually little crows should open up their mouth. Look. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. See if he's not open his mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. He's not opening his mouth. Open your little beak. Open your beak. Can't eat. Can't eat. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. He's trying, but he's not like usually baby crows have to be like, ah, 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 but he's not doing that. Okay, this is one. Oh, open your mouth. Come be here. Come be here. I have to push it down. I have to push it kind of down his throat. I mean, he's pooping right. Um. He's not just eating. Oh. Oh, he doesn't want to open his beak. He doesn't want to eat. Okay, I hope he's gonna do it better for the next five days. I think he's still in trauma from what happened to him. So little thing. The next day. so messy <sighs> let's let's bury this little bird gonna bury him right here. Oh. I'm gonna bury him here. It's a nice place. Here. I'm gonna bury him right here. I decided not to go to the mountains he wasn't born in the mountains he was born here in the neighborhood so I'm gonna bury him here in the neighborhood
So I just finished digging a hole. Let's put this little guy in there and then I'll dump everything. I hope this hole is big enough. So come here, little one. May you rest in peace. Uh, he's too, uh, too big for the hole. Let's do some, let's do some sub shop sticks. go okay guys I'm gonna give a quick message um, life is so short life is so short nothing is guaranteed here today gone tomorrow the Bible says so today if you live live your best life this little crow had a very short life unfortunately it got cut short I don't know what happened but when I found him this guy tried to kill him and waterboard him and he was like splashing water and on this on this little bird and i stop it and i try to rehome him to with his parents his parents were screaming i don't know what happened but he didn't had any speech this little crow didn't speak like he didn't cry he didn't make any sounds so i guess the parents knew something was off and threw him out of the nest and then he was just like alone to fend on his own and then when the guy was like waterboarding him they kind of freaked out and then when i got him i tried to put him back on the tree but it didn't work and i waited for like three hours he was still on the floor the parents didn't feed him he didn't scream so something was totally off with him something was totally off with him and then when i had him for six days like he hardly eat i had to force feed him and he was really really sad the way how he looked at me because they're so smart he was depressed that he was out of the nest and not with his parents so he probably gave up his spirit i don't know if he died out of starvation or out of a broken heart or both or even i found that like on his ears he had this little like ingrown tumor i don't know if he was sick from the gecko but i just know like i had the chance to get to know a crow for six days and i'm really really fortunate and honored to get to know a crow that close i've never had a wild animal especially as a bird that close before um so you know life and death is the cycle of life and so that's the reason why we have to buy out the time because time is short and we never know what happened tomorrow so li live every day like it's your last day breathe every day like it was your last day what really matters is if you can change lives help others be kind have gentleness humbleness faithfulness in your heart and just do good be kind and do good to others because you never know if they will live another day and i just feel like you know for me i just want to do good be good but not just do good it's like god gave me my spirit and my soul not to do good things i mean not to do good deeds but to do good things to do good things and do good deeds is two different things so i want to like have fruits i want to see my fruits come to fruition and I want to be good and help others and love others and see lasting change like i was like picturing how to free fly this crow i wanted him to like you know be happy and have him with my flock together but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be so like you know the night before i put him to sleep i cuddle with him i play some songs and sing him some songs next morning i woke up he was dead and that's how short life goes 
So now I'm gonna bury him, say goodbye to this little crow and may he rest in peace and may God receive his soul. Um, other than that, I'm just really, really sad, but I just pray that my flock is okay, that nobody else will die. Um, I will never ever take in a wild bird again, just because um, I don't know what the preconsistent condition was. And there's also the Texas virus going around, the avian virus. So I, I really need to be careful with my birds. This is two birds that died within a week. That Amazon parrot died and now this crow died. So I'm just like so, so, so sad. Anyway guys, so I'm gonna say a prayer for him and then we'll close him up and just bury him here. I'm gonna pray for him now. Father, in Jesus' name, I just ask you for this little crow to receive his soul, to make him happy, to um, give him what he needs, and just, just help this little guy. Um, so sorry that he couldn't make it, but you had other plans for him. Thank you for the six days that I got to um, spend with him and you say dust goes back to dust soul goes to either hell or heaven receive this little soul in heaven and one day I will see him back around the rainbow bridge little crow goodbye forever Stone. I'm gonna get a headstone. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys, I'll make him a little cross right here, like a gravestone. Here's his little cross. Here's his little cross. And I'm making my little balloon, a parrot balloon. This is the head. Doesn't have a body. 